In this tutorial, we will learn how to import weather data to AquaCrop and the program will do also the calculation of reference evapotranspiration. We have here an Excel file containing weather data from Santa Ella in the province of Córdoba. The different columns are year, day of year, wind speed we add, uh, with units meters per second, average temperature, relative humidity, mean value, solar radiation in megajoules per square meter per day, daily rainfall, average vapor pressure deficit, maximum temperature, minimum temperature, and net radiation. That is a calculated value. In fact, AquaCrop only requires values of Tmax, Tmin, rainfall, and reference evapotranspiration. Well, first of all, we have to export this data. This data go from January the 1st, 2000 and end on uh, December 31st, 2008. We copy this value, open here and copy back. See that we have removed the headers because AquaCrop cannot import text data, only uh, numeric values. Now, this sheet has to be exported. How do we do that? Well, we go to Start and Save As. We have, we go to the Import folder of AquaCrop and we will call it Santa Ella, which is the name of the weather station, 2000, 2008. Now the type of file has to be a text file delimited by tabs. Okay, so we will find a file with extension txt. We click on save and then it will advise that we need to uh, to accept if we want to save only the active uh, the active sheet and we do that okay we um, don't save further and we close this to avoid problems with aqua crop and then we're gonna go and open aqua crop Here we start the program and go to climate and we can select between select create climate file or display update climate characteristic characteristics. We choose select create climate file. And here we have the possibility of importing climate data. That's what we want to do. Okay. By default it will show you what is what files are in the import folder. We have here, uh, let's see, uh, we go here it is, Santa Ella 2000-2008. Okay, we got it and now we're gonna check the time range. Okay, so we said it started 2000 and now it tell us that it does not correspond okay so it was 2008 the end of the file
yeah well there is no more warning so everything is okay we are importing from January the 1st 2000 to December 31st 2008 now let's go to the tricky part see that we are importing daily values in climatic parameters we can choose well we should know which column is which variable but we can go we know for instance by checking on the ranges that the first was the year day of year and this one is wind speed okay so we go check on wind and here in the left column we can select the variable and this is wind speed in meters per second so we click on 301 okay we have defined this column already now we had uh, the following column was average temperature the next was the mean relative humidity so we click on humidity and we choose 202 which is the mean relative humidity the following one was in the range to 30 this is solar radiation so we check sunshine radiation and we check 4 to 1 which is solar radiation in megajoules per me mm, square meter per day okay the next column was rainfall so we click on rain and we choose rainfall in millimeter and uh, uh, the next one was uh, uh, let me see we have here oh uh, yeah this is the maximum temperature we click here go to temperature and select maximum air temperature and we go here and we select minimum air temperature so we have already wind speed relative humidity solar radiation t max and t min and that is enough for calculating eto we go now to eto and we assign the values well santa Ella is around 200 meters uh, of altitude it is located at 37 degrees and 31 minutes in latitude north and then we can check here that the, we have available maximum and minimum temperature we have actual vapor pressure derived from relative humidity we have available solar radiation and we calculate and the program will calculate long wave radiation and wind speed is available okay so this data will provide the calculated ETO that we need then we go to import climatic data okay it it, uh, it tells us that climatic parameters for ETO are out of range let's go and see what was happening okay there is a wind speed above 8 so we should check this range let's go and update data range we go to wind speed and we raise the value of maximum wind speed to 9 click save and close and then we can go to ETO and to import climatic data now it's everything looks fine because it gives us the name of the data file that we will that will have extensions t and x for values of ma minimum and maximum temperature eto for the eto file and plu for the rainfall file now we click on import climatic data and then to create climate file we're gonna call it Santa Ella 00 
We write a short description and now for we have marked rain and we select the file that we have already created Santa Ilia 2000 2008 and we click accept selection for ETO we go to the ETO database we click on Santa Ella 2000-2008 and accept selection. We go to temperature and select from temperature database. Click on Santa Ella 2000-2008 and accept sele selection. If for CO2, we can use the default is the Manua Loa CO2 file, which is the, let's say the standard. Okay, now we click on create. And we are done. The Santa Ella 0008.cla, which is the climatic file, is available. So we can work with this data, with these nine years of daily weather data, we can do the analysis that we want within Aquacrop. We, now we can exit the program or continue working with it.